Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry, we're both going in at the same time. This time, we're going right off the bat. Holy crap, that was one way to start things off. My name is Mr. Danners, and joining me today, Colin Moore. Welcome back to the Rocket League cast, man. How you doing? It has been a long time coming, Danners, and I'm so happy to be here casting with none other than Mr. Danners himself over the St. Clair Saints and Dickinson State University. So we're going to be off to a great start at the moment. It's actually Dickinson State off to a 1-0 lead. St. Clair down, Juicy Penguin off their backboard, able to clean it or clear it. And Saints keeping the pressure on, though, Danners. And, of course, your starting lineup here for St. Clair is the three... The three players that you've been watching all season. Of course, we've got Kamal, we've got Kariz, and we have Fusion. Meanwhile, on the side of Dickinson State University, we've got Murky K, and we've got Juicy Penguin, and there's one more around here somewhere. That's best over actually in the St. Clair zone. As of right now, Kamal actually battling out with them a little bit. And uh, juking it out in the corner, kind of just keeping it one on one at the moment. Chris going for the support, but Murky able to 50 50 it down to his teammate, Juicy Penguin. Actually, not getting it. St. Clair doing a good job at clearing it, but still pressure on from Dickinson. St. Clair able to clear it. Not out of the grass, though, of Dickinson State. You are going to see the aggression still on Fusions with a beautiful save off to the corner. He's not going to get the double touch either. Bevez going to keep it on. Nice 50-50 from Kamal. Pops it up. Nobody there to support it. Actually, Kariz gets it last second. The demo going to put the pressure on for the Saints, but they get it out of the zone, and now it's Bevez on the defense. That was almost on target. In fact, this might go over to Kariz. It is going to be intercepted, but Juicy Penguin going to get demoed for that. No more boost for him. But nice shot on target. Murky K going to secure the second goal here for Dickinson State University. I mean, these guys came out with a bang, keeping me on my toes like not even a few seconds in they got one <laughs> a minute 30 after that they managed to secure themselves a second i mean st Clair, with the way that their season has gone so far they are arguably one of the best teams that we have here so far at least this semester here on st the st Clair campus and this uh dickinson state university squad are giving them a run for their money yeah i mean i mean one of the cleanest squads that St. Clair has at keeping a strong mental over them. I mean, the amount oh. of reverse sweeps they've had, it's no, no surprise if they can make the comeback again right now. Down 2-0. Ball in the side of Dickens' estate. Kariz going for the high off the wall kick. Kamal going to keep it on the defense, away from the net. Clears it over to the left side. Fusions with the clear. Kamal going to get the back off the second touch in the air. Double commit from Dickinson. It's going to clear to the side. Nice pass over to Kariz. Kariz shot on net a little bit high. Kamal trying to keep it on target. Fusions, he flies high. He's going to put it off the backboard. Almost got it cleared out here. Berkey K trying his best, but he's going to be intercepted. Kariz with a small shot, but Penguin right there, ready and waiting. The centering attempt, but it's going to be up top. Best going to try and push this forward. Kariz going to at least meet it halfway. Ball kind of stuck in the neutral zone. Kariz coming in hot, brings it into the corner of his own zone. Best looking to knock it down. It would have been on target if it wasn't for Fusion. Sitting there ready and waiting. Murky K trying to keep this in, but not going to be able to do so because uh, here comes the St. Clair squad. Is anyone going to be up top to stop it? Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. A little bit of a trade back and forth. And Fusion pushes it into the corner. You see Bevest, he's going over for it. He does get the touch before being demoed. Kariz going to pass it off, though, to Kamal. Kamal off the backboard. Fusions with the cleanup. Not going to be in the net, though. Nice save from Juicy Penguin to get it out of their zone. Bevest, he's going to go to look to set up his teammates. Goes off the wall. Kamal, or Kariz, going to beat him to that. Fusions barely missing it. Picked up by Murky K. Not going for the ceiling shot. Kamal picks it up. And St. Clair puts it back on the aggression. Murky K with the nice clear, though. Back and forth of these two teams. Kariz is going to try to give it off to his teammate. But looks like everybody on the Saints right now just looking to keep their boost strong. Looking to back up. Set up as a team. Kamal puts it off the backboard. But who else but Murky K there to clear it out? Back and forth so far. Ever since about that three-minute mark where uh, DSU scored their second goal. Now it's just been like a ping-pong match. A tennis game of some sorts from one side to the other constantly. Nobody really getting a fantastic opportunity at getting this towards the opposing goal. Kariz trying to make something happen, but Murky K to Juicy Penguin going to put it into the St. Clair corner. Kamal is going to be there to reach it. 
Now take it himself all around the wall, bounces back. Off the backboard, is there going to be a finisher? Chris tries and makes the attempt, but does not quite get the shot he was looking for. And it goes to the corner. One more shot up high, but Murky K can just keep this moving. With 30 seconds left on the clock, St. Clair need to get something and convert real fast if they want to make this uh, anywhere close to overtime. You beat me to it there. St. Clair, really, they have to get on the ball right now if they want to keep this game in their zone. Only 12 seconds left. It's looking like DSU are going to secure the first map win. St. Clair should be mathematically impossible to win it now. Mm -hmm. DSU going up 1-0 right now. Looking to clear it up. Pat, their stats a little bit juicy. Penguin puts in the third. That is a 3-0 win in map one. But looking as we go into map two, Danners, I mean, the Saints, they started to pick it up and it was just back and forth between both teams. You know, I, it was 2 nothing for about, I think, three and a half minutes of this matchup. Mm -hmm. St. Clair, I mean, Rocket League's notorious for one team having a slow start but picking it up as it goes. Map 1's usually feeling each other out, and St. Clair, they look a little bit more comfortable than they did when we first jumped in there. Yeah, absolutely. It just felt like St. Clair... Oh, that's just me. What am I talking about? For once, I'm not soloing today. There he is. Hey, Colin. Hello. Welcome. As you can see, it's yeah. been an interesting cast, to say the least, here so far. But yeah, St. Clair just could not get anything aggressive started in the slightest. The closest thing, like getting it into the corner and maybe keeping it there for a little bit. Meanwhile, Dickinson, they just uh, they came out blazing. Before oh, I yeah. even had a chance to uh, get us settled in for the day, they already had the ball in the back of the net right off the opening face-off. So they definitely mean business. They've been did a fantastic first game. Juicy Penguin get himself two goals in this game. Three saves on top of that as well. So not only an offensive, but a defensive threat as well. And Murky K felt like he was just about everywhere. And then Beavest, he is credited for the assist. So able to find himself as a bit of a playmaker there in that game as well. I mean, St. Clair, I mean, they didn't really get a, a chance. I mean, we hopped right in there. They didn't have, like, a little bit of a of a time to just settle down, get their nerves out right off the bat. And, I mean, like you said, Murky, K, he was everywhere. I mean, he was on the back wall clearing it out every single time St. Clair was putting the aggression on. You saw Vest was there, too. Excellent defensive plays. And then when it came down to it, I, I think it, it was a nice 2-1 setup with two players on the offense and one player playing midfield for DSU to keep the pressure on to the Saints. It was almost impossible for them to keep it out of their zone. We're going into map two, though. And it's going to be off the kickoff. You're going to see Fusions flying high. Puts it off the backboard. Is anybody home to drop it in? Not going to be there. And Beavest, he's going to clear it. And St. Clair almost completely reversed that compared to the last game. They would have won, been the ones who scored off that opening faceoff. But Dickinson State there just in time. Of course, his best of five series. Them being up one, able to... Not necessarily relax, but feel good about themselves after that one, and look to get them get something started to uh, basically hit the reset button and see what they can do here in game number two. I'd say that 1-0 lead is more of a, a mental cushion right now. Come Ooh. on, goes for it, and he actually breaks the axles and dunk drops it in for the first goal of the Saints. Four minutes and 18 seconds left. That's a great play from Kamal to just barely sneak it underneath the tires of the defenders. I, I didn't see who that was. I, think, I don't think it was Juicy. I think Juicy was still in there in the net, but snuck it past, past both the defensemen. St. Clair up 1-0. Excellent start. Okay, yeah, somehow just Beavest was there. He was ready and waiting, but unfortunately for him, just kind of like skinned under his tires, could not get full impact on it. And apologies, apparently something's a little funky if the server is there. Hence the little symbol on the right. But nonetheless, we'll keep on going as long as this game keeps on going. Kariz going up top. Can he knock it down? Not if Beavest has anything to say about it. However, Ooh. the shot on target. Fusion going to get the receive that pass and take care of it. Puts it dead center. Going to move this into a 2-0 game here for St. Clair. And that's what I'm talking about right there. The St. Clair, they're starting to get... Their uh, their pressure up. They're gonna. They're starting to look like they're playing more of a team, spreading thin. The defense of DSU and getting an easy goal, dropping it in there for a 2-0 lead. But now it's DSU setting up for for the aggression. Still trying to get it out of their zone. Fusions gonna put it on a 50-50 pinch. Beavis going to contest it. Come on, keeps it tight on the wall. But Murky gonna pick it up and try to dump it in. Just seeing St. Clair Ooh. barely 
barely keep it out of their zone, but Fusion's now on the right side. Gonna steal the boost of DSU. You're gonna see Chris fly high, pass it to Fusion's. Fusion's not able to pick it up. Murky gonna clear it out. Kamal picks it up. Actually centers it in the net. Beefest gonna Aww. have the shot on. And he do drops it for a DSU goal. There's only a one goal deficit now, Danners. Oh, that's a, that's a feels bad man kind of moment for sure. They like, definitely trying to clear it all along the wall. And it looked like it booped off more of his his roof rather than his uh, front end. So it did not get anywhere near enough power to make that happen. And ended up basically being a pass right to DSU. So DSU can thank him later. But Kamal is going to answer right back. Wasted no time. He's been able to make some of these individual plays. Getting past one, two, and finishes B-Fest as well. <laughs> Puts it into the corner. Nice moves, Kamal. I want to say that's fancy footwork, but I don't think I can say that in Rocket League because, uh, you know, cars don't have feet, but Kamal juking past the defense, draw, dunking it in there. Absolute cheeky play from the Saints as they go up to another two goal lead. Kamal going to clear it out with the double commit from Fusions. Murky going to try to keep the pressure on. He's going to drop it down to his teammate. Nobody going to pick it up, though. St. Clair able to clear it once again, but DSU, they are relentless. They're not letting go of this attack. Murky picking it up now. St. Clair, they're finally able to break through that iron wall as they're using teamwork to break through this defense. I like the little pass back there. St. Clair did to now allow Fusion to take to the skies and make the centering attempt happen. Kariz does put it to the center, but Juicy Penguin going to stop it for the time being. Kamal going to put it back into the corner. I believe it's Murky in there alongside him. Just going back and forth in the DSU zone. They finally find the right hit. Goes almost to Penguin. But it's going to be intercepted Ooh. by Kamal. He's got a wide open net. Never mind. That's going to be Murky K. There last second to make sure that save goes in. And it's going to be Chris from the top to Fusion. It's loose in front. Barely crawling in. Chris going to secure game, or goal number four, rather, in this second game. As that was just slow motion across the crease. Was able to get the final touch to make sure that's secured. And you see that brilliant touch from Fusions to sneak himself in there, drop it right past the defenseman. They like the double commit left their defense wide open, and a basically free goal for the Saints to go up four to one right now. They're not letting go of this pressure just yet. They keep the aggression on. Cleared out by DSU. Now they're looking for their chance. Kamal gonna shut that down. Fusions gets it out of the Saint Clair zone. That's nice shot from Kamal. St. Clair 5-1 to one right now. I mean, sometimes they say you have to uh, you have to warm up the engines, you have to warm up the tires before you actually push it full throttle. And it seems like Game 1 might have just been the coasting lap so far here for St. Clair. Because since Game 2 started, they have been absolute pedal to the metal with tons of scoring opportunities, getting 5 in the net so far. And solid defense overall. But that, as I say that, Murky with a solid shot from the right-hand side, basically off the wall in an awkward spot for St. Clair to try and save. Fantastic shot, and that's gonna get DSU their second goal in this game. Still a mountain to climb though. We can blame the caster curse a little bit there. It's just a solid defense and instantly, DSU breaks right through. Kamal off the kickoff, gonna put it into DSU's zone. Fusion's gonna get that boost steal. Pass it down to his teammate. Anybody there to pick it up? Cruz tries to dunk it in, but not able to grab it. Goes up high. Not able to get the second touch, though. Fusion staying in front of the net to disrupt any defense that he can. Kamal tries to center it off the corner. Not able to get it past the defenseman. Uh -oh. Now that's free. Chris is just going to drop it through and cruise on to a 6-2 scoreline. Second goal of this game here for Chris. Just was able to make sure that he can make that interception, make it stick. And there was absolutely nobody back home here for DSU to try and make that stop. So game two looking extremely favored in terms of like for St. Clair's side. And we'll be moving on to game three in a little bit unless DSU can really pull a rabbit out of the hat here. I'm really looking at game three right now because I mean map one it was like it was DSU right off the start. A 3-0 lead. I mean it was 2-0 for most of the match, St. Clair started to pick it up, but it was a hot start from DSU, and right now they're just kind of quiet aside from those two goals. But St. Clair, six goals in game two. 
Looking like they're finding their groove. Come on, just gonna back off right now. Find a better angle to clear it out through the corner. Murky gonna keep it on, but not on target as it's cleared off from the state the Saints. And now it's time for Juicy to try to get out of their zone, but Chris looking for a pass. Quite interesting with uh, the rotation style of DSU. I feel like it leads to them having three members in the offensive zone a lot more often than I see other teams. And it worked out in game one. But game two, they did leave them wide open for probably at least two of the three goals that we saw. And it kind of bit them. I'm curious as to if there's going to be any sort of adjustment from them in a play style and their rotations. Or what's going to happen as uh, Kamal walks away from that one with a hat trick. Grizz finding himself two goals and assist. Fusion, a goal and assist. A couple saves as well. And the two goals on the side of DSU were from Murky and from B-Vest. And honestly, DSU, they had so many shots on their net and so many shots on their net that they were able to uh, to save. I mean, just the Saints, you know, they, they snuck it past the defense eventually. They got through, they broke through defenses six times in game two. But honestly, you you're looking at the um, you're looking at the defense of DSU, and they start to pick it up like the Saints were doing in Game One. They started showing a little bit more life as they moved forward. But going into Game Three, I have to see them, like you were saying, change up those defensive rotations so that they're not three players on the offense and one and uh, and kind of left open to a clear and a free goal for the Saints. So we got to see that change up for if DSU wants to keep it in their lead. And right off the start, they are just letting it on St. Clair right Ooh. now. Beavis going to drop it past the defense and open up with a quick goal for DSU. There was like two or three shots already within those first 15 seconds. And a huge shot from Beavis squeaking it past the defensive player from St. Clair, squeaking it under the crossbar and just perfect position to sc score that first goal in this game. And that faceoff actually looks kind of rough here for St. Clair if they're not careful. Definitely could be a clear going in favor of the Saints. You do see Fusions. He's going to try to back up Chris, but Chris getting demoed. The Saints have to go on the defense right now. They're going to have a player back because Chris off the respawn. Gives it to Kamal. Kamal, though, going to look for a bump to try to alleviate some of the defensive pressure that the DSU is putting on. Kamal going to clear it from the center of the net. Chris not able to get the second touch, though. Fusions oh. in a 1v1 in front. Kamal with the saving grace of the Saints right now. Still four minutes and a 1-0 lead. Kamal putting the pressure on. He's looking to go high right now. Fusion's there to put the touch on. Give it off to Kariz. Kariz, though, not able to get that second touch. Not able to put it on net. Kamal's turn now. Not able to find anything. Now with the ball going into the St. Clair zone. Fusion back ready to try and clear. Actually, he just passed this off to Kariz, who is ready and waiting in the crease. Fusion up to the skies, playing it off the roof. See what he can do as he crawls in to the zone. That would have been right on target, but Murky K going to shut that down and actually move forward with it until it was briefly intercepted. As it's now Kamal in the corner, trying to bring it forward. Denied by Beavest. And it's just a back and forth game here through the neutral zone. For this time being. It's crazy. Finally getting a solid clear. They might be able to make something happen. Never mind. I'm totally lying. Murky K. There is somebody from DSU pretty much everywhere. Kamal with the fancy footwork once again. But barely going to get shut down. And back into the St. Clair zone we go. Dancing wheels. That's what Kamal's got on right now. But Murky K trying to break it past the Saints. Kamal able to clear it. B-Vest up in the air going for the shots. Looking to just drag it past the Saints. But Chris there on the defense to give it right back to their zone. Murky going to... Dribble it on the top of his car. Keeps it past two of the Saints. Looking to get it past the third. Kariz, though, with the backflip to stop the pressure. Demo from Kamal. Gets Murky out of their zone. Puts him back on the respawn for a few seconds. Now it's the Saints' turn to try to put it in the back of DSU's net. This one's starting to really feel very similar to how game one started out where one goal happened extremely quickly then it was just a standstill for the next couple minutes St. Clair definitely trying to get this forward we see Kamal pushing forward but every single time they go in they are answered by somebody on this DSU roster 
and just goes right back into their corner. They're, first, they're forced to try and clear it somehow. Fusion might be able to get something started, but he is completely out of boost. He's not going to be able to pull anything fancy here. Chris, too. Like, so many offensive threats from St. Clair just don't have the resources they need to keep pushing with this ball, get in position, maybe get one good shot to send it home, and they're just coming up short. The ball off the ceiling, gets it out of their zone. Is he able to get the second touch on it? He goes for it. He slows it down in the middle. Nobody able to follow up, though. Murky clears it out. Fusion's going to put it off the sidewall. Chris may be able to follow up on that one. Beaten by Juicy, though. He drops it back to the Saints zone. Kamal in net. Looking to clear it out. Goes up the wall, though. Picks it up in the corner. Nice. He zooms right past two oh. demos. Look at this. No defense right now for DSU. Luckily, they're able to get the respawns off. Kamal going to steal it off the backboard. Try to give it high to a teammate. But Vives clears it out back to the Saints. Saints have to go back on the defense. It's just going to take one here from St. Clair to threaten overtime. Still have a minute on the clock. But they may have a little bit of extra pressure. Shot on net. Going to be pushed aside by Vives. But it's now or never for St. Clair if they want to keep themselves in this third game. Or is DSU going to be able to threaten match point the next time they go around? Looks like they're going to be able to threaten it as that one just somehow sails over St. Clair's heads. And it's going to be secured by Beavis to give them the 2-0 lead here in this third game. And it's just the, the double commit from Saints. They just missed the touch. Got right past them. An open net for Beavis to, to drop it in there. They go up by two right now with 50 seconds. The Saints... They have to find that pressure, and they have to give it right back. They got to get something and answer back quick. Kamal's going to start this pressure off. Gets it past Ooh. Juicy Penguin. That's off the crossbar, and unluckily not able to get it in the net. That is Rocket League stealing it from you. The post, you know, one of the best goalies that you can ask for. Yes, the post is your best teammate and the most consistent teammate, to say the least here in Rocket League at times. Coming in clutch here for DSU. There was still 40 seconds on the clock when that shot happened. That would have been plenty of time for St. Clair to try and get themselves another. But with the time ticking down, 10 seconds winding down, this is probably going to be too little, too late here. And DSU is going to move up 2-1 to one in this series. St. Clair, they looked to get a goal on there, but DSU not going to give it to them at the end. Just keeping it up high. Trying to make it so that's not a shutout in map three, but it's game three going to DSU as they're now on match point. And the Saints, they have to crawl back. They have to look at whatever was working in game two. They have to find that groove again, Danners, if they want to take it to a map five. I know the Saints aren't scared of going to map five. They almost thrive in that environment. So we're looking at the stats. I mean, you really have to give it to DSU. They were just relentless. The pressure that they were keeping on the Saints, the shots on net, the saves that they were keeping from the back of their net. They just, they came back. There's the, the same team that I saw in map or in game number one, back alive in game number three. Pretty much everything that game just seemed to be off the bumper of B-Vest. He had the two goals. He had three saves and was peppering with four or five shots in that matchup. He was all over St. Clair offensively and defensively. And then similarly to game number one, like Juicy Penguin may not have the fancy of some stats, but he had the passes that secured those two goals. And the playmaker is still oftentimes just as valuable as the goal scorer. So coming in clutch there for the DSU roster. Game number four just about to get underway here. If there's one thing I like about Rocket League is these guys do not wait. They go, no. they just keep on going until the match is over. And here we are, game number four, about to get underway. It's it, They literally don't like to wait for anything. Not even for us to do our intros to start it off, Dan. <laughs> exactly. Like keep it going. Keep the ball rolling. Chris going off the top ropes, looking to dunk it on down. Ooh. Gets past two fusions. First on for a number one goal for the Saints. Look at this teamwork right here. Cruz giving it off high. Fusion sneaks his way through past Juicy Penguin, past Beavis, into the back of the net. 1-0, 10 seconds into the game. Okay, so apparently whoever gets the first goal within the first 10 seconds <laughs> wins the game. So this Not one, in theory, work. should mean we're going to a game five. But of course, there's still plenty of time for DSU to turn this around. Fusion going to get the shot off, but going to be denied nonetheless. Murky K, bit of a breakout. Kamal and I believe that was Kariz, both making the save there. 
but still stuck in St. Clair zone. Murky K. Kariz going high to try and stop this. Beavest, this is going to be a centering ball. Is there going to be anyone to finish it? They're going to try and they are going to find it. Juicy Penguin securing that one off of the bumper of Beavest. Excellent offensive play from Beavest. Able to bump the defender and center it for his teammate. Just securing the easy goal for Juicy to clear it over Kariz. Excellent teamwork from DSU. Ties it up 1-1. One, one. Not even a minute into the game. Oh. Come on, looking to bring it back. The crossbar once oh. again. Good old player number four showing up when it counts for DSU. Gosh, as a force in Rocket League, there is no penalties. You want to do goaltender interference? By all means, do it. It's In fact, it's encouraged sometimes. And we saw that come into play there in DSU's goal as it goes off of the St. Clair uh, backboard. But it somewhat cleared out to Beavez. Passed over to Penguin. Can the shot be on target? It would have been, but Kamal is going to be right there to shut that down. But it's still kind of stuck in St. Clair's zone. Fusions going off high, though. Giving it to Kamal. Kamal not able to keep it on track. Chris, clean it from the defense. But this, this is a nice position from Murky. Able to give it off to Juicy. Kamal there to disrupt that offensive play. Gives it off to the center of his teammate. Oh. Fusion's there once again, but Beavest, excellent defensive play to clear it out of the zone. Chris tries to 50-50 it. Kamal eventually clears it out, and that's an open net right now. Kamal can get to it, center it for his teammate. Fusion's there for the shot, oh. but excellent save once again from DSU. It was right there, would have been right place, right time, but at the same time, DSU's defense right there in the nick of time, and they're going to be able to possibly turn this into a little bit of offense for themselves if they can stop Kamal. Just taking it up the left side, Penguin going to take this again, be able to get past one, but not past Kariz. And then Kamal's like, oh, you got past me? Well, I'm just going to take you instead of the ball, demoing him, putting him out of play for the moment. As Vest crawls up the left side, Kamal finds himself another demo, finds Penguin twice in a row. Poor guy can't seem to get himself even onto the field without getting blown up these last couple seconds. But now he's back and he's in an offensive position, but Kray's gonna rob him. As it actually crawls through the St. Clair crease. A little bit of a scary moment for St. Clair, but they're able to at least hold it in his corner for now. Easy juicy off the top ropes, trying to put it in the back of the net. Nice save from Kamal, doing it all right now. Even setting up his nice kill feeds in the in the game. Usually you only see that in Call of Duty, but he's making it happen. Kariz with the 50-50 <laughs> off the roof. Juicy Penguin keeping it strong in the Saints zone. Kamal there to give it off to Fusions. Fusions with a nice one-two. Back over to DSU's side. Murky off oh. the high ropes. No, just barely missing it. St. Clair getting robbed of their second goal of the game. Murky setting up for another play for DSU, but He's going to have to take it high. Beavest going to drop it on down. St. Clair once again with a brilliant save. Kariz on his toes right now. Oh, guy, you know that moment of fall, guys, when you're running up the hill and the crown isn't quite in position, but the two people jump for it and completely whiff it anyway? That's kind of what that offense there for St. Clair kind of looks like. They jump for it and completely whiffed it, but unfortunately for them, not going to find it. DSU able to turn a little bit of offense once that happens. But now, Fusion up high. Going to possibly get this off the backboard. Is there going to be a teammate ready and waiting? Kariz was there. But DSU is just ready for these. There's always somebody in the skies there waiting for them. Whether it's Beavis or Murky, like any of them, are right there, ready and waiting to play this air game that St. Clair has been bringing to the table. Which majority of the teams in both NACE and UCEA have not been able to contest St. Clair when it comes to Sky Game. But this oh. team is doing a fantastic job. Oh no, Chris just barely getting the <gasps> save is Beavest. <laughs> they try to go for that double touch. Fusions with a nice shot angled off towards the net. Tries to center it for his teammate. Chris up high. He's going for the shot from the heavens. But still another save cleared off from DSU. Fusions not giving up just yet. Goes for another one. Seems like both teams right now comfortable with scoring in the first minute of the game. But that's about it right now. At this pace, they're looking for overtime. 30 seconds left. Beavest with a shot off the backboard. Nobody home oh to save goodness. it. Just off the crossbar. Juicy almost securing map number four for the side of DSU. Fusions with a nice shot off the backboard. Going for the double touch. Going to clear it on down. Murky barely saving it for DSU. As now it's Kariz's turn. He's going to put it wide. Just barely missing once again. St. Clair not giving up just yet. Four seconds left. Murky. Clears it over to Vest. Vest going to drop it on down. 
This is spelling like overtime to me, Danners. Absolutely, and of course, there is no leeway here for St. Clair. If they let this next next, next goal go in, that's it. Series over. Dickinson State University are going to be walking away with the W. But off the faceoff, it does go into the DSU zone, but they're not really able to get a good shot off until now, but it's going to be going over to Evest instead. It's just constantly stuck in the corner. Not been able to really get that on target without somebody from DSU being there to block. He's going to get off to Kamal. Kamal, though, it's going to go wide as he doesn't get the touch. Fusion's going to center off for his teammate. Oh. Bvest once again. There's you just. How many times are we going to say this guy's name when he gets the save, Danners? Bvest tries to get off to a teammate. Fusion's with a nice defensive play. Clears it off. Letting to put the offensive on right now. Juicy Penguin there for a nice 50 50. Chris now going to put it oh. off the backboard. Crossbar one more time. Player oh my goodness! Four really showing up in map four. Absolutely brutal there, and yeah, it may seem like we're saying Bves constantly, but it doesn't matter which side of the arena it is. He is a threat, as well as pretty much the rest of this DSU squad. That's a solid shot from Chris. Can they race to it? Not in time. Murky K going to finalize that. This is going towards the Nets, but Juicy Penguin. Any time it seems like a threat, either him or Bvest are knocking it back into the corner. Just keeping it safe. Even though it might be stuck in their zone, you can't necessarily get the best shot from that angle. And they'll take that risk every time as it goes to the skies where Juicy Penguin is going to try and push us in the St. Clair zone. We're just going to give it over to Murky. Murky trying to get it past him, but Chris is going to give it off to Fusions. Fusions is going to set up there. Gives it off to Kamal. Juicy is going to go high for it. Nice little 50-50 down to the ground. Fusion's going to give it up to his teammate. Looks like it's going to touch the backboard. Murky going to keep it floating, though. Fusion's going to put it off to the center. Juicy Penguin there. This is DSU not giving up on the defensive plays at the moment. Kamal now for the ceiling shot. Does flip it off to Kariz. Oh. Kariz going to dunk it on down. We're going to map five, Danners. Holy moly. Fantastic job there from Kariz to find the finishing blow on that. Kamal just lobs it right in, and they knew that if they let it hit the ground and then they took the shot, they would have had somebody right there ready to defend. So Kariz going up before, like beforehand, making sure it doesn't bounce off the ground first, making the timing a little bit different, a little bit weirder, really threw DSU for a loop. And now, sure enough, game number five here between uh, Dickinson State University and St. Clair College. This is what we came to see. Fantastic play from both teams in this game so far. <laughs> B-Vest, five saves. My goodness, man. Five saves and three shots. Kariz, eight shots on net. St. Clair had 18 shots on net combined that, that round. Yep. And only two goals to confirm for it. So just uh, even, even on both sides. I mean, like I said during the during the play-by-play, -play, both teams very comfortable at getting a goal in the first minute of play. But it, it seems like they just want to play around in the rest of like the four minutes that they have to to go for. And <laughs> I mean, it's it's proven out to be a good game four right there. Let's hope they have the same energy going into game five because this is as close as you could ask for at the moment. Danners, we have ourselves a battle between these two schools. Absolutely, and by having so much offensive pressure, but only just now being able to break it into overtime, I feel like that has to be exhausting. You're constantly. You're making the plays over and over again, but it hasn't come through. You gotta be getting tired. Like, what do we have to change? Or are we scared of? At the at the very end, though, they did make the adjustment and it did get them that overtime goal. But it's now or never. Can they keep that up? Fusions gonna try to sneak it past B Vest, but it's not an easy task to fulfill. Not something that you could just go around and complete like on Among Us. You gotta. Got to put some effort into it if you want to get past Beavis. Murky off the high ropes. Going to give it to his teammate. Beavis going to put the shot on net. Fusions. Nice save. Gives it off to Kariz. Kariz shot on net. St. Clair, they strike first. Wonderful shot there from Kariz to get themselves this first lead. It, for once, it didn't take 10 seconds. It took more like 29. But unfortunately, I think that was Juicy Penguin who was just ever so slightly out of position to try and make that save. And this is going to be the start of possibly a snowball. Or DSU going to turn this around nice and quick. How fast can they make an answer here on that goal? Riz going to try to follow up with his second. But Juicy, he's there to keep it. Back to the Saints. Fusion's going to put a nice stop onto it. Nice little turn and burn. Puts it over onto the DSU aggressive. Gresham, Kamal going to try to pick it up midfield. 
does have to give it off to his teammates. Juicy gonna set up for a shot. Fusion's there to shut it down. Kamal going high from the heavens. So looking for the double tap, but not able to put it through. Fusion's there to clean up after him, but still a save from B-Fest. The man, the myth, the legend, the best. Gosh, he's making saves even when he's like not even attending to sometimes. That bounced straight off the crossbar, right back off him, and it's going all over the place. And Chris coming in hot, was not able to make that angle. It was a bit of a sharp one. And now the centering attempt from Kamal is going to be unanswered. Nobody from St. Clair is sitting here ready to go. Chris to Fusion, going to be stopped once again. Murky K getting credited with that save. But another nice shot here from Chris off the wall would have went wide. Kind of stuck right now in the DSU zone. They're going to try and make something happen, though. Murky K going to move it forward. Chris is back here, but Fusion is going to be there for the clear. Kamal now in the DSU zone makes a centering attempt. B Vest once again just not going to let anything happen. The clearing attempt, it stays in the corner. That's as far as it goes. Just constantly shutting the offensive opportunities from St. Clair down. Defense St. Clair looking to put the pressure on to DSU once again. Kariz taking it high and flying to Fusions. But Fusions not able to center it. Kamal going to be on the defense right now looking to shut down this aggression. Juicy picking it up from Vest. Kamal going to contest him on the wall. Clears uh -oh. it off. That's a free goal for the Saints. They go up 2-0 right now in map 5. That's exactly what St. Clair was looking for once again. Some of the old habits coming to bite DSU here as three members we're getting offensive like past the halfway point on the field. And one awkward bounce, one clearing attempt that was just somewhat crawling towards the net turns out to be a goal. And giving St. Clair a little bit of insurance here with a two goal lead here in the decider. Chris off the backboard, clearing it right to his teammate. But Vest's going to pick that one up. Kamal once again taking it off the St. Clair defense. Getting it past two. Juicy gonna contest him. And it's actually a pinch going in favor of the Saints. Fusion's gonna pick it up, pass it off to Chris. Chris gonna put it off the backboard. Nobody home to deliver the third. Kamal gonna once again pick it up in the Saints zone. Juicy setting up for a shot. Chris there with the save. B Vest goes high to keep it in favor of DSU right now. Put the pressure on. But Kamal, Kamal in map five in game five right now, Danners. He's doing a great job at shutting down DSU's aggression. For sure. It always seems to be him carrying it out of the zone and then kind of forced to dump and chase. We see Fusion now kind of taking that roll up into the skies as it's kind of stuck in the DSU zone for the time being. Mark K trying to make something happen, but Kamal to Kariz. Kariz trying to break out. He might be able to find his opportunity, but it is going to be taking two defensemen from the side of DSU to make sure that does not go in. But the pass from Bves to Penguin going to be stopped by Kariz. I would have barely tucked in on the right side if that was not attended to. But Bves now looking to try and knock it back down. Fusion's up there with them. Murky centering pass to Juicy Penguin is going to go wide. Just goes back into the corner and Fusion finally gives St. Clair a chance to breathe. Takes it out into the DSU zone. You can go back and you can clip my words exactly. St. Clair thrive in map fives. And now they're here in a 2-0 lead. Final minute of play and they look so comfortable. Kariz on defense right now giving it off to Kamal. Working together to clear it from their zone. Vest is going to keep the pressure on, but Fusion's there to give it off to Kamal once again. One, two, touch to give it back to DSU's zone. Kariz keeping the aggression on. Puts it off the crossbar and one, two, dunk. And that is three goals for St. Clair College. It was very nice of the crossbar to give us an assist this time instead of a save for DSU to just kind of secure this a little bit more for St. Clair. Of course, 35 seconds. I've definitely seen crazier stuff happen in Rocket League, but it's going to still take massive effort here from DSU. But if St. Clair does overextend like that again, it could be worrisome as I think three people work across half for that brief moment. But they're able to recover and just put it right back into the DSU zone with less than 15 seconds. I think St. Clair are going to walk away with this victory here tonight. St. Clair keeping strong to the Rocket League roots right now in this season. Nice 3-0 to clear up. Game 5. I was about to eat my words right there, but St. Clair, they, they want to make sure that I'm holding strong to it. Fusion's not able to send another one home just yet. 
There They're trying goes. to keep it live. SCC get, take game number five, and it's a three-two win on this five Mond fine Monday night in this UCEA match. But you know you got to give props to DSU. I mean, Bvest, Juicy Penguin, Murky put a tough fight against these Saints. Absolutely, a fantastic match in regards to both sides. Both teams just giving it their all. Unfortunately, there for DSU. This game was one of the few they just could not find the back of the net. St. Clair was just constantly peppering with shots, and then it seems like whenever they were in back there, Kariz was actually the defensive savior there for St. Clair, while also finding himself on the scoreboard twice. Four saves for Kariz there, and two goals. Definitely giving a, a good showing for the Saints to take home map or game number five. I mean, a nice 3-2 win on the night. And, I mean, we said it over and over again. Beavest, Beavest, Beavest. Mm -hmm. This guy over on DSU. How many times did we say his name? It's definitely a player to look out for if the Saints have to play DSU again. I mean, I, I definitely can't wait to see if they take that matchup and they take that rematch again because that is going to be a good game to look out for. But, I mean, Danners, what, what were your thoughts about that match all around? Well, I was definitely kind of nervous after game number one. It did not seem like St. Clair was necessarily all there in regards to like their passing plays or their aggression. Just everything seemed like it was matched. Game two, I wasn't even still 100% convinced. Yes, I was a high-scoring game, but if anything, it kind of allowed DSU to, um, to readjust. And then moving forward from there... It was definitely much more even. And then that last game, like, St. Clair had a couple aggressive opportunities, but this time they were able to capitalize it. It wasn't getting off the post and missing. There may have still been one to prevent it from being 4-0, but it wasn't necessarily constantly shut down. It wasn't every single time they took a shot, there was a DSU member in front of them. Meanwhile, the rest of those games, it felt like any single time they tried to make a play, Beavis, Murky, Penguin, somebody was there to make sure it just got dumped back into the corner nice and safe. I mean, like, if I really have to highlight any games from the night, I mean, game one, game four, and I think game three was even a, a close one as <laughs> well. I mean, game game four especially. I mean, it was... DSU opened up with a goal, I mean, 10 seconds into the match. And then it was instantly... No, wait, no. St. Clair opened up with a goal 10 seconds into the match, traded off by DSU right away. I think there was still four minutes and 15 seconds when it was a 1-1 tie. And they went into overtime at a 1-1 scoreline. So, I mean, both teams definitely keeping it close. There were a few hiccups in the maps or in the games that allowed for high-scoring matchups, allowed for teams to take a higher edge on it. But when it really came down to it, when both teams were firing on all cylinders, it was neck and neck. And then St. Clair just cleans up at the end. They change their defensive rotations around. I mean, how many times did we see Kamal picking it up off the backboard, picking it up in the corner to keep it out of the Saints zone? There's just excellent team plays, some nice one-two touches to clear it out, and the Saints send it home to take map five and take the night in a 3-2 standing. That was just excellent showing, and the Saints made some good ad adaptations to it and take home the, the win for this Monday night. Yeah, they've been doing pretty well, fantastic here in both of the leagues. Unfortunately, we don't have specific statistics. However, from what I understand, the two teams that we lost to was, of course, Mizzou and Northwood so far. Both teams being CRL teams. And even then, we're still, like, giving them a run for the money. So the fact that St. Clair is right there, like, just before that, I guess you would call Tier 1 collegiate, right underneath that Tier 1 collegiate line, is so hopeful that, like, keep this up they could definitely get find themselves there in in due time this is a fantastic group probably one of the better squads we had here for rocket league in the last couple of years so i definitely am going to be looking forward to seeing what they can do moving on in both ucea and nace action didn't the saints actually reverse sweep northwood in one of the leagues it would they did win i think that was the b team but i'm not 100 percent sure oh okay okay all right. Because I remember so, the main Northwood team, we, we got 3 0'd, but they were all one goal games. And then Northwood B, which B team, but it's Northwood. It's still a fantastic squad. Yeah. That, yeah, that school's yeah. just something else, to say the least. But they did a great time. I mean, I, yeah. I can tell you playing over an Overwatch team. Great school. <laughs> great. Have, it has some great players all across the boards in Rocket League and Overwatch, you name it. I mean, I, I know that, that 
right now I think we triumph over Northwood in uh, in league over the weekend. So that was a good good game to see. Mm-hmm. But but why, speaking of other games, Stanners, I mean, why don't we run through the the rest of the schedule that we got going on this week? Sure, let's take a look. Of course, always subject to change. But as of right now, tomorrow, UCA Counter Strike action team gets a jump back into the swing of things as uh, they've been having themselves quite the good day or a good season so far, o- only losing to the team currently in second place. Unfortunately, the name is kind of blanking out on me, but you'll have to trust me on that one. And Wednesday, Colin, I get to see you play as we're going to see you guys play in UCA action. And Thursday, OPSE League of Legends. St. Clair versus the University of Windsor. The Windsor battle here on the Saints stream. Looking forward to seeing that one because I've not gotten the opportunity to see the University of Windsor's team play yet. So I'm curious as to how that's going to go. And Friday, 8 p.m., the Collegiate R6 playoffs continue. I believe it's week two of playoffs. The first one was definitely a nail biter that was on the Collegiate R6's stream. But uh, all the way down to the final game, then Saints really gave him. Give them hell that time. We'll have to see what happens in this matchup. And then on Saturday, we have two matches. It's only going to show the one there, but starting at 3 o'clock, of course, we have the R6 Collegiate Championships. That is, I believe, week 4 of action. And then 7 p.m. that day, we also have Call of Duty. So, going to be a busy week, busy weekend as well. Maybe not as busy as last weekend, but still very exciting. Be sure to follow if you haven't done so already, because there is still plenty of action around the corner. Definitely be sure to follow for that one. Excited to see all the teams in action and what they can bring. And I want to give a special thank you before we close off of this on our sponsors, St. Clair College Alumni Association, PC Outlet, Sacramento School of Business, St. Clair College, of course, T- Tim Hortons, and St. Clair SRC. Big thank you to all of our sponsors. Couldn't do it without you. And to everybody that is viewing, I hope you had a great night, and I can't wait to see you back with some CSGO tomorrow.